What's going on? Just got back from fishing. Uh, went out with Joseph today and had a really productive day. We filled the cooler. Hey guys, check this one out. Sand flea. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Poor man's lobster. Talk, talk it is. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get into him. be some bigger ones around so you get this little bite going and they're gonna they're gonna tell their friends <laughs> on shrimp? Yes, sir. All right. I'm about to waste a lot of time for two <laughs> I think they're stealing my sand, please. Yeah, that's what I think was still. I think we caught that tot tog, the sheep's head came in, and all the blowfish are just sitting out there stealing things. I'm going to switch up to a speck rig and shrimp here in a second, and I'm probably going to catch some tot togs on it, too. Yeah, no doubt. Blowfish are my favorite fish camp this time of year, by far. You said they were here. They're here. They are here. Ah. <laughs> what? You see, we used to get so excited over a little fish like this. No, they're good. I love they're this. Good. I, I'm going to fail this 165 for cool. <laughs> I promise you. If I can, I will. Where there's a will, there's a way. I love blowfish, man. Like, I think Tautog tastes phenomenal, but I think blowfish are the most consistent tasting fish in this area. You can freeze those things for a long time, it tastes good, and there's no way you cook them with that. They're very delicate meat, I'll give you that. <laughs> Easy to clean, too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> seconds. <laughs>
There's more. <laughs> Oh, he just popped. So when is the best blowfish season? Is it now or is it in the spring? Um, I would say the spring has bigger fish. Now is a lot more fat, like average size. Numbers wise. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a nice one. He swallowed it though. Twist your hand in your wrist. Yeah. Just don't try not to break the line. Let me see it. Can you be like Let me see, yeah, like a... Yeah, see? Look you at just that. pull it tight. Mate? 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 In the box he goes. As long as you can get it down to the hook, you're not gonna break the line. If it's at the knots, that's when, that's when it'll break. Ooh, gosh. You eat these? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a big one. No, I know. I'm just trying to stay very careful away from this thing. They are very focused. <laughs> that's it. Time to release the secret weapon. Parboiled mud crabs. I'm interested to see how it's going. Makes sense. I mean, we parboil all crabs. Yeah. Did you snack on a few of them too while you're there? <laughs> Definitely gonna be my go-to for leftover mud crabs. Oh, boil them. Just, just yeah, just, just put them in a little saucepan, quick, quick simmer, and then you wrap them in that aluminum foil and you vacuum seal them so that it doesn't bust the bag, you know? Yeah. I like it. I like it. And they, like you said, they are a good snack in a pinch. I mean, they're so they're so. Put some anime characters on the bag and sell them. Yeah, well, they're so small. I mean, they're tender. They're crispy. They're good for the kids. Oh my god. <laughs> just <laughs> you just get a smile. I mean, it <laughs> tastes so good. This is like childhood memories. <laughs> Catching a big puffer fish in November. Maybe Thanksgiving because I'm still with my dad doing that. <laughs> here we go, here we go. There's a keeper. Yeah, let me, let me measure him just to double check. But I, know, I know this is a keeper. Oh, he's 12. Oh yeah, that's a good one.
And that's a flea. Yes, sir. All right. That's the right kind of smaller, though. Add to the collection of blowfish. Show you what it was. You want to keeping them filefish? I like the bigger fish, it's smaller. No size limit, no bag limit. at least seven feet deep here. Make it high tide. <laughs> North Carolina. Hands down. Inshore fishing, phenomenal. It's a good time. <laughs> On a spec rig. <laughs> he's a light colored one. He is. He's like white. He looked like a pig fish coming up. No, that's what I thought he was at first. Oh yeah, 
that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Using fish bites at all? Should I be? I just I brought them out because I thought it might not be bad to try them. Yeah. Fish bites is the way to go. Think so? I think so. So I mean, even if they, after they get the shrimp, they're still chewing, you know? Oh yeah. I see one. That's what I'm doing. I'm just using a little tiny piece of shrimp, though. You can use less shrimp that way too, you know? Yeah, that's what I always care fish. Ooh. keeper. Yeah, that's a good one. black drum or four of the finest eating fish you can catch in eastern north carolina that's gonna keep a sheep head yes it is Holding on. 
<laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. They're hungry. Uh, this is a sheep's head though. It's a keeper. Oh, no. I keep her. Well, maybe. Mm. I think he's a keeper. I believe he is. Oh yeah. I believe it in my heart. Thumb in the box. Ten and three quarters. It's like Florida, catching sheephead on shrimp, <laughs> cut shrimp in the fall, like just easily. All that effort to go catch sand fleas. Right. You'll see it. Oh yeah, 11. 11 inches. Beauty. Ooh, that's there a he is. Fish. Look at that thing. It's pretty. Cracks me up, man. They're so tasty. I'm so excited about it. Bro, they taste so good. <laughs> look at the stripe on that one. Look at the stripe on that one. Oh, on the spotted side? No, no, on that side. Now look at the other side. It's like a broken bar. Oh, look, no, there's a fork one, too. Yeah, fork, yeah, broken. That's a cool fish. Yeah, I agree. That's a neat one. Keeper. Probably got 12. 12 to the fork. On uh, just fish bites in a second. Yep, we're in them. Is that on just fish bites? Oh, uh, no, shrimp. about that was just shrimp bite that's what i'm talking about well a little bite we had going's gone tide switched Two sheep's head, one tog, three sheep's head, four sheep's head, two togs, five sheep's head, one black drum, six sheep's head, seven sheep's head, eight sheep's head, nine sheep's head, two black drum, Nine sheep's head, two black drum, three taw togs, and 40 blue fish. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. That's goodies. Well, we did it again. We, we didn't put it up enough sand fleas for this winter. Um, just seems like it just sneaks up on you and, and they're unavailable. So uh, we're gonna be using shrimp this, this winter. And you know, people have been asking me, are mud crabs available? You can catch mud crabs in the winter time. You just have to wait for those warm days. Um, they'll come out in the daytime. And, um, but if it's really cold, they're gonna bury down in the mud. So they're gonna be unavailable. So, uh, sea urchins are still available all winter long, so you can still catch your sheep's head. But, um, but we had a really productive day. Um, blowfish are some of the best eating fish in the ocean. They call it chicken of the sea, and really happy to see those taw tog today. So, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll catch you next time.